Today's video is gonna be a good one because I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get the perfect skin tones in Adobe Lightroom. Now, I've done tutorials on this topic before in the past, but with new updates and new tools available in Lightroom, my whole workflow has changed. When it comes to editing the perfect skin tones in Adobe Lightroom, in the past, I heavily relied on the HSL sliders, which stands for the hue, saturation, and luminance. Basically, I was using these sliders to adjust the hue and the saturation and the brightness or darkness of someone's skin tones. Now, this tool worked pretty well for the most part, except for in situations when the background had similar hues and tones as the skin tones. Because the problem with that was that if you adjusted the skin tones, then you were adjusting the background as well. For example, in this photo that I shot with the Fujifilm X100V of my good friend Gunnar in Iceland, if I wanna edit his skin tones and I go to the hue slider and then select his skin, the problem with this is that if I change his skin tones, it's as well changing the tones of his Jeep. And I don't want that. So how can we get the perfect skin tones without affecting the rest of the photo? Well, the answer to this problem is Lightroom's face detection. Basically in Lightroom, if you go to the masking, down here on people, you can select person one, which is Gunner. And then from there, you can select, do you wanna have a mask that impacts the entire person or do you wanna just select certain parts of his body? So I'm gonna choose his facial skin, his body skin, his eyebrows, uh, eyes, iris, lips, hair, facial hair. Basically, we're gonna do everything on his face and skin. And then from there, we're gonna create a mask. Now, the great part about this is that now I can affect just his skin tones and not affect the rest of the photo. So in doing this, I'm gonna be able to get the perfect skin tones while keeping his Lava Jeep a nice red color. So from here, there's a few tools that we can use to get the perfect skin tones. You can adjust the exposure of his skin. You can adjust the contrast if you want. You can adjust uh, the white balance. So if you wanna get a little bit warmer or you wanna get more magenta in the photo, then as well, there's a hue slider, so you can just change up the whole hue, which is great because if it's you know too red, you can go more towards yellow. If it's too greenish, you can go towards more red to get the perfect skin tones using sliders. And then lastly, we have the saturation slider. Basically, we have everything that we need to get the perfect skin tones. So let's erase here because right now he looks like a ghost in this photo. And I'm just gonna turn off the red mask overlay. So in this photo, I think I want him to be a little bit more exposure, a little bit of saturation. It's quite desaturated. You can play around with the warmth and cold, maybe just like three plus warmth. And then they're gonna put a little bit of magenta into that. And voila, already uh, there to there. Now in this photo, I think Gunner's skin tones already look pretty good, but I just wanted to use this as an example to show you how you have full control by using the face detection mask. So here's another photo of Gunner, which will give you a great example of why this tool is so powerful. Again, we have a photo of him. He's wearing a red jacket. We don't want the color of his jacket to change, but we do want to impact his skin tones. So first I'm gonna add just a nice preset, you know, maybe this one, for example. And if we see his skin tones, they're a little bit too orange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go again. Lightroom is detecting a person. We're gonna press person number one. It's trying to identify all his features, turn off entire person. And then from there, we can do facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, lips, teeth, hair, facial hair. Now basically we have his face and his hand selected as a mask and we're gonna press create mask. Okay, there's already some features there. We're gonna delete that. Turn off the mask so we can see, and we're gonna just zoom in so we can really see his skin tones. Okay, so these are looking a little bit too, maybe warm, quite magenta-y. So we're gonna go to the other side, and then it's looking quite saturated, so we're gonna bring down the saturation just a little bit. Let's see the before and after. Okay, that's already looking a lot better. Let's go to the full picture. Let's put the exposure still a little bit higher and then play around with the temperature again. All right, I think that already looks a lot better. Let's see this off. Maybe a little bit too cold. Okay, so this is the before and after. So this was before with the preset. It just didn't look right. A little bit more adjustment and now 
The skin tones are looking a lot better while still maintaining the color of his jacket. Honestly, this is such a powerful tool and I really can't believe it that it's in Lightroom. We have just full control of the skin tones while not impacting the rest of the photo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I'd love to have you for future videos. Have a great day, guys.